Greetings food servers. Welcome to Eric Mealtime. We found a new vending machine. This is a really interesting one because they've got quite a variety of foods here. Jellies here on the top, which are, they come individually packed it looks like. This is two potatoes with butter. That's pretty interesting. You don't see that often. Got some scallops here in a pack. Rare cheese. Uh-huh. And what's that? Hokkei fish from Hokkaido. And some more and grilled scallops over here. Very colorful machine, huh? Looks good. I don't see that available. Yeah, that's something else with rice in it. All right, let's load up here. It's starting to rain. I'm gonna do this quick. Definitely the potatoes. All right, two baked potatoes. How about that? That's exciting. Okay. And let's see, scallops. Definitely got to do scallops. Which two types here? Grilled and then this looks better. These look bigger. Let's do that. There you go. Oh, that's the upside down that way. That looks all right. They're chilled, so I guess you can heat them up or eat them, heat them up probably, right? And uh, what else? we got to do the fish right here, the hoke. That's popular stuff. Love me some hoke fish. There we go. Okay, yeah, that'll work. All right. Are we doing a jelly too? Yeah? This one, the melon, melon jelly? Jello, really, I guess. They're little snacks, individually packed. 300. Get some. Ooh, there they are. You get uh, six of them. That's right, that's my number. Let's go find some more machines. All right, guys, I'm right outside Hidatsuka train station here, the south exit, and there's a new machine. It's right here. Look what we have here. Boom, wham, what? Check, check. Check it out, let's do that. This right here is a gorgeous machine. Love the colors, but what's inside? Fried chicken, good variety of stuff here. This is called Okotama. I don't know what that is. It looks pretty good. It's got bacon inside, I can read that. Nice, here's a silky sweet potato. Oh, what else, what else? Fried noodles, yep. A couple more of these Okotamas different flavors, some strawberries. All right, all new items, stuff I've never seen. Everything's available, that's good. Okay, let's do it. Money in. Start at the top right here with the fried chicken. Number one. Ooh, comes in a box. Ooh, this reminds me of the sandwich joint. All right, let's try these. I don't know if they're sweets, what they are. It's a mystery. Cash going in. And what is that, number three with the bacon? There we go. Well, now that I can see them, I still don't know what they are. It comes with sauce as well, too. Bacon flavored. Okay, that's good. Okay, moving on. What else? What else? Got to do the sweet potato. That's a Japan classic. Number six for 600. Four hundred. Doesn't like my money. Threw it in slow. 
slow. All right, we're good. Sweet potato coming down. Okay. It's a little on the small side, but okay. Could be delish. And let's do the yakisoba noodles. Yakisoup, you gotta love fried noodles in Japan. We'll do number nine right here. Don't forget to change. Oh yeah. Oh, look at those. Japanese fried noodles are the bomb. Yeah. The boom. <laughs> yeah. Get some. So typically outside of train stations is where you do find the vending machines. And there are some right there. I can see them from here, right in front of that shop right there. All righty. So we've got a restaurant building right here. It's like three floors of restaurants. And here's their machines. Oh yeah. Oh, they got sweet potatoes here too. The glazed ones. Yeah. And then here, what's going on there? That's a hamburger, like bento. That's pretty interesting. I bet that's gonna be some gourmet hamburger. That's a nice looking hamburger. Right, chef? It's a good hamburger. Over here we've got the gyoza dumplings. Yeah, it says they're new, huh? Yeah, we've done the dumplings before, though. This, this whole machine is dumplings. Uh-huh. All right, well, definitely, we've got to do the hamburger bento for sure. Yep, yep, yep. Money in. What is it, one, two, or three? Okay. Coming down. Bento lunchbox. Yeah, hamburger's good size. That's a full meal in there. Okay, nice. Should we do the sweet potatoes too, just so that we can compare them? I think so. Yeah, definitely. Glazed sweet potatoes. Oh yeah, with sesame seeds on top. That's looking good. Here we go. Okay. Let's get some. Oh no. I pushed the hamburger again, the hamburger set by mistake. Uh oh. Baka. <laughs> 470. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to eat with Mega Brain so we can both have a hamburger bento to ourselves. Yeah, it's all good. All right, last try for the sweet potatoes. We got another thousand yen note here. My last one. <laughs> Number four. Okay. Okay. Got them. We are set. All right, let's get out of here and go eat. Eric, meal time. Come in. All right, I got the goods, and I'm being joined by. He's on camera. Mega Brain 6100. Yes. You ready to eat? I'm ready. All right, we got to heat the stuff up real quick, and then we'll eat. So should be quick. You want to see what we got? What you get? I will show you. Open the box. Ta da! It's actually being heated up right now. We are really close to sitting down to eat. That's right, that's what's happening. It's just a little bit of behind the scenes stuff. Okay, so everything is ready here. What are we gonna start with to drink, Mega? I'm gonna have Kalpis. Okay, Kalpis, is that, what is, that's a new Kalpis. The Rich. The Rich. Okay, then I guess I'll have this one, the Hojicha, which is roasted green tea. You got guts drinking that cow piss, especially rich. 
I wouldn't touch that. <laughs> Not the rich. I like the cow piss water better. Cheers. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's really good. Love me some hoji cha. Yep, it's almost as good as green tea. Some people say it's better than green tea. All right, so we've got a number of items here from, what was it, three different vending machines, I believe. And we have a couple items from the chef as well, too. So you start, I guess. You're hungry, right? I'm hungry. All right, where are you going to go? The potato. Baked potatoes and butter, right? Yeah. And these things are a rarity in Japan. We're going to attempt to eat baked potatoes with chopsticks, all right? This should be good. This should be good. Does it slice? Oh. -ho. Smells good. A oh, whole buttery, huh? Smells like a movie theater. Yeah. Doesn't it? <laughs> all right, you ready? Ready. That's a big bite you got there. Pretty standard, as baked potatoes go. So, yeah, I've had better. It's a little bit on the tough side. <laughs> the Hokkaido potatoes in Japan are really fluffy, and they're just they're just incredible. If you've ever had those, they're like mashed potatoes, but you're eating a whole potato. So, these are taste like pretty standard American. Or your just basic variety potato, garden potato. Okay, my turn. I'm going to go for one of these fish dishes, I think. I'm going to go for... This is the hoke fish. Okay, so this is cooked and cut into small pieces. Which is really nice. I recommend to get it at a restaurant. Right, and you yeah. pick at it. They're big fish, a lot of meat. Whoa. That's pretty juicy, isn't it? Yeah. Very juicy. Yeah. I like that. It has a sweet flavor. Hmm. Yeah, sweet sauce. Marinated in a sweet sauce. Yakisoba. Yakisoba fried noodles, Japanese style. Can you guess what's inside here? Oh, it's cabbage. It's mostly cabbage, I think. I see some meat too. Pork, maybe? And to me, just fried noodles from a vending machine sounds weird, right? Yeah. So they've obviously pre-cooked it, I don't know how long ago, and then froze it. It's not bad, though. It's not bad. It's not like fresh off the grill, either. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, quite a bit of meat. What do, what do you think the meat is? I think it's pork. It could be bacon. I think it's pork. Pork? I'm gonna go for the karaage here, the fried chicken. This looks bomb. And if you come to Japan, you gotta try the karaage fried chicken, boneless type. It's available everywhere, right? Yeah. And it's tasty, and it's a little bit different everywhere you go, right? Okay, let's do it. Oh. Mm. That's got some really nice flavor, doesn't it? And it's juicy. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, that is tasty. I think this is my favorite so far. Get in there, two pieces left. Go for it, team get some. Okay, so these remind me of Egg McMuffins, but they're, what are they? They're mini okonomiyakis? Yeah. Like, so savory pancakes with egg on top. Right, there are two levels. So you eat them together. And the filling is bacon. Yeah. This tastes like an Egg McMuffin. <laughs> Almost exactly. <laughs> Doesn't it? 
the pancake on the bottom is kind of bread-like. It is, it? yeah. Very similar to an egg McMuffin. Which I love. But... I never get to eat them because I don't make it to McDonald's in time. You gotta get there by what, 10.30? Something like that? Yeah. The sauce is good. Mmm. Oh, so good. And the machine had <clears throat> like four different flavors of this stuff. So I think I might go back and try some of the other ones. This is tasty. Well, sometimes you can get the egg on top of okonomiyaki, the pancake, but it's going to be just kind of packed down like a sunny side up egg. It's not going to be like thick like the egg McMuffin type. So very interesting. Way to go, Japan. Fusion foods. Yeah. An egg McMuffin okonomiyaki pancake. Let's try one of the, uh, is it my turn? It's one, of, one of the uh, <laughs> chef's entrees here. And this is lotus root here. It's fried in cheese. So it looks like cheddar cheese. This is a first. <laughs> oh. That's actually pretty good. It's good. I like it. Oh, goodness. Because the lotus root is nice and crunchy. And then the cheese is also kind of nice and crunchy, right? Since it's yeah. done in a fry pan. <laughs> and it's a nice crispy. Nice My, crispy. Nice crispy. Salty treat. The chef wins on that one. Hotate. Hotate, which in English, those are the scallops, right? Yeah. Okay, better than oysters, I promise. <laughs> By just a little bit. Okay, and these are what are called otsumami, right? Like drinking snacks. Oh, these are pleasant. Not too bad. It's cooked pretty nice. Yeah, I like these. How would you describe the sauce? Show you? Ponzu? It's good, actually. It's kind of like shoyu. Right? But just has like a little bit of sweetness to it. Yeah. Mm. And good, it's got kind of the consistency or texture of crab. Like crab yeah. meat. That's what I really like about it. It kind of tastes like poor man's crab, a scallop when they're done like that. Let's get into our bento lunchbox. We have a hamburger bento here. Rice, a hamburger with the sauce on it, just the patty. That's pretty typical in Japan, right? Yeah. And then it's served over, it looks like some spaghetti noodles and carrot and... Broccoli. Oh yeah, broccoli. And this is prepared by some famous restaurant chef. So this is, should be legit. All right, be first. Be first. And it's a pretty thick patty. Mm-hmm. Oh. That's some pretty tasty meat. And a steak like, huh? Yeah. Broccoli. Oh, it's good. It's in, um, it's cooked in something. It's got flavor. So, do you like eating hamburger with rice? That's kind of the Japanese way to do it. I like it. Without a bun. Mm hmm But if you go to a burger joint, then you can get it with a bun. If you go to, like, a family restaurant or something, most restaurants in Japan... We'll serve you a hamburger without the bun. You're going to get it with sauce on top, just like this, and rice. So, just to let you know. Denny's would be a good example of that. If you go to Denny's and order hamburger, you'll see a picture of it first. But, yeah, it's... I think they do have a hamburger with the bun, but... 
there's a lot more varieties of the hamburger with gravy on it, different types of sauce and side dishes. Let's cleanse the palate here with some daikon radish, pickled daikon radish. Mm. Do you like daikon? Not so much. Mm. It's so versatile. There's so many different ways you can eat daikon. And I mean, it's such a huge radish. It's like this big, right? Yeah. Or massive. And you can buy one for, what, less than a dollar. So, people prepare them all sorts of different ways, the daikon radish. Last thing before dessert, we've got two types of sweet potatoes. Natural sweet potato. And then, what do, what do you call those ones? The glazed ones? It's daikakuimo. So sweetened with honey or something? That's a pretty fair color. I've seen a more yellow before. Do the natural style first. It was supposed to be, the advertisement on the machine said silky. Silky meaning really soft. It's, what do you think? I don't think so. It's not silky. <laughs> Typically, sweet potato is very silky and soft. This is a bit rough. Our, what, the baked potato is softer than this, actually, and, and that's, right? That's usually the opposite. Yeah. Usually, these are really sweet, so. Yeah, I have to call that a fail. But, there's another style here, and these ones are already cut. And these are really, these are special. I love these things. These are more like a dessert, right? Yeah. Taste the difference? Mmm. Oh, it's got that glaze. Sugary glaze on the outside. That's nice. Sweeter. Much sweeter. <coughs> Even on the inside, it's sweeter. Mm -hmm. But it's still a whole sweet potato, right? Yeah. It's the same fruit. I mean, vegetable. <laughs> mm -hmm. Dessert tonight is melon jello. And melon is really a delicacy in Japan, isn't it? It is. People love melon. And you can pay a lot of money for quality melon. But this is just jelly or jello. But I think it's probably pretty high quality. And you used to eat these when you were a kid, right? It's, these are popular little desserts for kids. Yeah. Right? Because it's just such a tiny little small portion size. That's all you get. There's not much to it. Yeah. Okay. Is it going to taste like melon? <laughs> we'll let you know. Oh, it really smells like melon. Yeah? Yeah. Can you just suck it out of there or chopsticks? Either way. Suck it out. Mmm. Oh, I'm tasting real fruit in there. It's kind of a pear like texture, the jello, right? No. A bit like, I don't know, applesauce almost. But good flavor. That is really good. <laughs> have another one since this is all we got for dessert we're doing two <laughs> I want to see if I can suck it out like you did <laughs> just suck it out no chopsticks necessary huh <laughs> didn't work <laughs> oh. it's tasty yeah it's almost not like a jello it tastes more like more like a melon inside there than it does a jello. Kind of, right? Yeah. I mean, you can definitely taste there's real melon in it, for sure. So there it was. Another vending machine's extravaganza. We're going to call this an extravaganza. What did you like the best? It's quite a few items. The karage. The karage. Oh, that's what I was going to choose, too. <laughs> 
And surprisingly, like, I really liked these little scallops that taste like crab. And typically, I mean, I'm not a big scallop fan, so I like them prepared this way. Mm-hmm. The hamburger was all right. The sweet potatoes prepared this way. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. The yakisoba, meh. Um, the chef's items, delicious. This stuff is banging right here. You know, it's kind of a kind of a secret. You combine cheddar cheese with something, and you pretty much can never lose, right? This is my dessert right here. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Mmm. Did you want one? I need one. Mmm. So good. All right. So now it is time to rate this meal on the rating scale between one and six of the mega heads. That's you. Where are you going to go tonight? What do you think? Overall rating? I'm going to go four. Four out of six. That's exactly what I was thinking. Four out of six overall rating. Which is pretty good for from a vending machine, I think. It's it's really tricky to find everything to be amazing when you try so many different items. And they're always coming out with new stuff, so I'm always always on the lookout for new stuff. It's kind of fun, right? To, to eat new yeah. stuff each time. It's pretty fun. And it's... I mean, I'm, as long as there's new things to try in the vending machines, I think I'll keep doing them. And you guys seem to like them, so thanks so much for your support. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it. And as always, what are we enjoying? Read your comments. Reading the comments. That's right. We, we really like to read your comments. So thank you guys so much. Eric and Mega out.